Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel Excellent Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'll discuss about the AZ40. So first, you have to know that what is AZ40. So AZ40 is the is termed the simian virus 40. So it is known as in short the AZ40. So it belongs to the Papova virus and also termed the polyoma virus. Polyoma virus. So later on, I'll I'll discuss that why this virus also named as the polyoma virus. Polyoma virus. And the main characteristics of this virus is to causing cancer. It causes uh, different kind of a cancer, so it including that osteosarcoma, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and also other kind of disease, also cancer. And uh, the main in characteristics of this virus is AZ40. It infects cell, and uh, it continuous when the infect cell, that continuous cell division occurs, and uh, the immortalization occurs. So we know that. Uh, this is the primary feature of the cancer cell because cancer cell when it uh, when it turns to can no, when the normal cell it turns to the cancer cell so there is the can the cell cycle is continuous for the continuously turn on and the cell division and cell growth and cell proliferation occurs so here also the same kind of things happens because as if when infects in that case also the cell cycle growth and um, it kind of the, the rest of the process it happens and it makes immortalization of the cells so this is what uh, we use for these characteristics the easy for making the immortalization of the cell line so this is number one application the easy for we use for making the immortalization of the cell lines and also the number two application this is for inducing and maintaining the transformation process so easy is very much useful for to maintain the transformation and transfection process so this is why we use this sequence in our vector or in our plasmid and then we infect uh, this plasmid for the transformation purposes so this is pretty much uh, effective in that case so i'll also show you the the ac40 genome so this is the ac40 genome here and here it contains the origin of the replications and it contains the promoters and these promoters it uh, regulates different kind of the genes and uh, that contain it also when mainly AC40 it encodes five different proteins the so small t early proteins large t early proteins virion protein 1 virion protein 2 and virion protein 3 all right so virion protein 3 so here is the late proteins and the early proteins so early proteins are the small t and large t small t and large t all right and the large T, it has the important function, it plays the important function that it uh, stimulates the entry of the infected cells to the S phase. And also it prolongs the G2 phase to the M phase of the cell cycle. So when it happens, then the cell cycle progression occurs and cell growth and cell division this kind of outcome it uh, this leads to the this kind of outcomes the cell growth and cell division and cell proliferation so this is what i already mentioned that this is what i we normally use uh, the ac40 and uh, the small t the function of the small t it helps the large t function all right so here also i would like to mention the history of the discovery of this ac40 so this is very much important so if we back 1960 so at that time the polio vaccine production it was ongoing and they used research monkey we know this is very much uh, we know this monkey actually this monkey's name research monkey research monkeys so at that time the research monkey's kidney cells was used for production of the polio vaccine to grow the polio virus for for production of the polio vaccine so at that time uh, this polio vaccine they injected 
to to the lot of prisons uh, from the 1951 to 1955 at the time and also also after injection they found and when they screened and they found that these vaccines actually is contaminated with the ag40 virus and when they found then this kind of prisons are observed and they were actually they were under observation whether they are arising any kind of uh, fatal disease or any symptoms however fortunately this kind of patient is not um, showing any harmful effects or any symptoms so after that they use this ag40 for extensively study purposes in the lab so since then this ag40 is hugely studied and for it has uh, a lot of applications that's what we use in the lab and also it was proved that ag40 uh, is safe to use in the lab for different purposes also i would like to mention the the important application of the ag40 so here the um, one of the important application of the ag40 is the in the beta thalassemia so in the cos one this is the one of the cell line and this cell line is packaged with the recombinant ac40 pseudo virus and that's that pseudo virus it ex, it um, carry the beta globin beta globin gene so we know that that beta globin gene is normally uh, is is uh, lack in the beta thalassemia patient right so when this kind of pseudo virus it, it carries beta globin gene and this virus is infect to the beta thalassemia patients so after infection they found that that normal level of the beta globin mrna gene were detected in the infected patients so this this study it suggested that recombinant ag40 vectors it could be used in the treatment of the beta thalassemia all right so this is pretty much important application also it has uh, additional application a lot of applications so i will show you the in the next slide but before that i i also would like to i forgot to to discuss about the uh, that polyoma virus why this uh, this virus also called the polyoma virus so when i discussing about the the history of this uh, ag40 so at the time i i mentioned that the polio virus vaccination right polio virus vaccine production so this uh, this ag40 it was contaminated in the polio virus during the process of the polio vaccine production so this is what this virus also known as the polio virus all right so also i'd like to show the the different uh, application so here you see the um, this is the application different kind of application so here the vectors so different kind of the vectors and these are the transgene what kind of genes they are carrying the vector and the cell lines and here the purposes what purposes they uses so here you see the hiv so different kind of the hiv uh, they use these vectors to uh, to grow the t lymphocyte human t lymphocyte and also they use also this kind of uh, it is uh, for it use for the mtr expression this is a multi drug resistant expression and this vector used and also it have also used the beta globin expression for the um, thalassemia patients in the thalassemia patient and these are the genes sorry these are the references and if you would like to study more so you can go through this reference so that's all guys so i hope this video will be helpful so if you like this video can hit the like button share it and uh, subscribe my channel and if you have any queries regarding this ag40 so kindly write in the comment section thanks guys